guys, this is Apple Forums. Um, this is my review for Lion. So I just ran a clean install with Lion a few days ago. Um, my MacBook was kind of getting laggy, so I decided I might as well do a clean install. So it's what I did. All right. Um. So here are the new features in Lion. I'm just gonna introduce it. And later on, I'll be going through some of the issues that you may face with Lion and how to actually fix it. All right. So here you go. So first, I want to show you guys what's new in the trackpad. And hopefully, this video will help you decide whether you should actually upgrade to Lion or not. And if you are, I really recommend that you do a clean install. Because um, I upgraded to Lion before I did the clean install from Snow Leopard. And Geek 2 was having some Geek 2 was having some problems that I couldn't actually arrange the the widgets and everything, if that's what you call it, really properly. So let's do a clean install. There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to do a clean install. Um so yeah, just search it on YouTube or something. And so now for the trackpad. Right. So, all this um, is already available in uh, in Snow Leopard, except for lookup. Right, for lookup, let's go to oh. By the way, R.I.P. Steve Jobs. We're gonna miss you. So, for um, lookup, you basically double tap on any word with three fingers and then the dictionary will show you the meaning. So, let's just do this to find and then you'll get highlighted, right? Um, and then you have your dictionary, thesaurus, wikipedia, and then let's see what else you have. Three finger drag. Basically, you can just move it with three fingers around like that, all right? Um, and then scroll and zoom, all right? This is something new in Lion. Scrolling naturally, like how you do in the iPhone. That means when like you scroll, when if you want to scroll downwards, you slide your fingers up, and if you prefer like how it was in Snow Leopard, you can just uncheck this. And then zoom in it out just like the iPhone. Just zoom in on any space, alright? And then there's smart zoom, which double tap with two fingers, just like the iPhone once again. Um and then there's rotate with two fingers. This one's already in Snow Leopard, so I'm not really gonna go through that. And of course, you can just slide your, with two fingers to the left to go to the page before. Um, let's just go to Google or something. See if this works. There. Alright. And then to go forward, you can just um, slide it to the left or something. You'll figure it out when you get it. And some more gestures. Alright. There's this too. Um, this one over here. Swipe between full screen apps. So, alright, let me just put um, Safari into full screen. And then we can just slide it to the desktop. Slide it to my um, dashboard. Yep. And then let's just ex exit full screen. Okay, so then this mission control. Mission control is honestly not one of my favorite things. I'll go through mission control later. For now, I'll just show you like swiping up with four fingers. You can easily just change all of these commands. So, uh, mission control, swiping up with four fingers, you get mission control showed up. Um, but mission control, swiping with four fingers is what um used to show the desktop in Snow Leopard, but now it's to show mission control. 
And if you want to show desktop, you can just check this. It's not checked by default, but I like it, so I'm just going to check it. And so you just spread with your thumb and three fingers. Like that. And then you have expose. You just swipe down with four fingers, like how they had it. Once again, you can always just change all of this. It was originally swiped down with three fingers, but I'm used to the Snow Leopard one, so I'd rather go with swipe down with four fingers. And then Launchpad. Launchpad is honestly one of my favorite features in Lion because I just love launching apps on this. It's really pretty against this um, beach background, especially. I'm pretty sure it's really pretty like on top of a few other backgrounds as well. You just have to play around with which desktop you want to choose. So that's pretty much it. And uh, now we just, um, okay, let's go into Launchpad. Launchpad, I was saying, it was really pretty, right? So you can launch almost every application you have here. As a matter of fact, you can launch every application. And you can arrange it like how you want it in the, uh, in your, it's like an iPad and iPhone version. The folders are especially uh, like the iPhone and iPad one, and you can have applications, you can just join them together, right? Like the iPad, and yeah, that's how it is. You can just um, play around with how you want your applications to be um, arranged instead of just um, using a folder like here. Um, yeah, so. Then we have Safari. Safari 5.1 is a major upgrade. I love Safari 5.1. Okay, so when you download something, let me just try downloading something. Um, okay. So when you try and download something. It goes over here instead of having the window open like previously. And if you download any um, zip files, the Unachiro will automatically unzip them for you. So that's pretty cool. Right? So you can go to your downloads that, like the download list from Safari over here by clicking on this little icon and it just pops up. So that's pretty cool. You can just clear a list. And then the download button disappears. So it'll appear again next time you download something. Um so um then there is launch pad, right? So we have launch pad over here. Launch pad, alright, let me just try opening like a few other applications and see how it goes. Um So, launch pad. Okay, you can open up like another Safari with it. So that it will look like this. You can um, multitask, which is what Macs are really good for. So you can just check out all the windows that are open and easily um, change between them, which I guess is pretty cool. But I just haven't really been utilizing it for some reason. I guess because I have a dock. I don't know. Right? So that's pretty much um what it does. And then there's another one, um photo booth. Photo booth has been given a really awesome upgrade which I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna block my eyesight with my phone so that it looks like a black screen um, because I really don't want to show my face on the internet anyway. so let's just launch photo booth right. so this is photo booth instead of just having a window like previously um, it goes full screen this time so that's cool you can, you can still take like previously single shot um, for shots at once video and then there are 
new effects as well like nostril like all this you can just check it out yep right so yes oh yes one more thing if you want to scroll between full screen apps no wait i really should have never mind i have a bad memory so that is pretty much it um i am really in love with lion the startup time is um i've read forums it's actually it seems that people are actually having it slower than in snow leopard but i guess you just need to clean and install it and then it works fine um shutdown time is fast it's like two seconds i don't know and then there is um reopen when windows uh reopen windows when logging back in which is pretty cool if your mac isn't the kind that is lagging a lot if not it will just um cause the whole system not to start up properly so hopefully apple will uncheck that by default in the next update because that sometimes pisses me off especially before i clean installed lion and i was running the upgraded version of lion so my macbook got pretty slow um so now for the common troubleshoot people have with lion first thing is people don't act people can't actually download DMGs from websites like uh, maybe DeviantArt or something like um, zip files, rar files and then from if you want to download trials from sites DMG files so what I did was uninstall speed download that seems to be the problem like you can go to your applications folder look for speed download um, the folder and then uninstall it and that works I'm really not sure why this is here because I uninstalled it yesterday and uninstall it using the official uninstaller and not just drag it to trash because that doesn't really work it doesn't help to solve it and if you have actually just dragged it to trash already I suggest you reinstall it and uninstall it again and then just empty your trash afterwards And if the if you okay, so that's one problem solved. And the next problem is that people sometimes have problems with clearing something in their trash. So let me just move something to trash first. Mm, all right, that okay. What's this? All right, we can just this in trash and if there's anything you can just um put down command and select trash in the menu bar sometimes it doesn't work all right right click command right click and secure empty trash and that should clear up anything that is in your trash that apparently can't be cleared because it's locked or something like that so um that's pretty much it if you have any troubles or anything um you can feel free to leave a comment below this is my desktop i made with gig2 um if i think i'll do it in my next video like a tutorial on how to make it like that i think it's really pretty the background image is lion's default like it comes with lion um yeah I'll do it in my next tutorial, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!